it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got an Affle Gem Blonde to show you. It's a two litre top that fits into the sub compact, the Krups, the sub compact. There's a look at it. It was kindly sent to us by beerwolf.co.uk. Without further ado, I'm going to open this. I've just started to open the plastic wrap. So if you're new to this system, I know a lot of people have been Ooh, a lot of people have been buying into this system because they want beer at home at the moment with what's going on in the world lockdown and, and all of that kind of stuff lots of people want good beer at home so with each top that you order comes its own line now this line very important piece of the puzzle if you like because this now fits into the top of the top like so and it stays there it gets recycled with the top so the line never fills up with yeast you'll never have an infection you'll always have good beer so I'm just gonna manhandle the camera down over to my top how's that can you see everything there I think you can see everything there there we go I'm gonna open it up and show you how to fit it there we go so I always put the back end in first of course take the, the tap off that slides in you'll hear a noise I think that's fitted properly Fit your line, your line clicks into place. Door close, oh, first of all, tap goes in. Door closes. And can you see the front? Yeah, you can see the front, look at that. And then you pour your beer. Yeah, I've had this problem before. Right. Ah! There we go. The I hadn't fitted the tap properly. Right, that was my fault. I didn't fit the tap properly. But generally, your first beer will always be a, a bit frothy. It will. I always find that your first beer will always have a little bit of froth on the go. I'll be back in a second with a perfect beer. Okay, so here's a look at the Aflagem Blonde. Lovely, slow-moving carbonation. One finger white head. Golden amber coloured ale. Doesn't that look beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beer. Very nice. It's got that. Of course, it, it's come from the Krups, the subcompact. So it's it's got that condensation on the glass that you would get from the pub. This is as close as you're going to get to pub beer. Let's get the aroma. Or oh, the clarity. Let's get the clarity first. Clear. Clear beer. Slow. You've got slow moving carbonation. And all of a sudden there's a couple of... You can see that. A couple of large bubbles making their way to the top of the glass. But yeah. A golden amber clear looking beer. Aroma. Hoppy, spicy, peppery. A little bit of Belgian candied sugar coming through. It's, it is indeed a Belgian ale. Aflagem. Now, I usually pick up the... Uh, yeah, I think I've seen some Aflagem in Marks and Spencers uh, over the years in bottle. That's what I kind of tend to have found to, to pick it up. Or a, or a pretty decent bottle shop. But in this case, I'm excited to try it in the Krups, the subcompact, just to compare it. Although it's been a number of years since I've had it. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> That's fabulous. Boom! Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a lovely, lovely beer. Oh, he's got me licking my lips. 
very rare do I do that. Only after normally a sausage and batter and chips do I, or a battered sausage and chips do I lick my lips. Mmm. The mouthfeel is incredible. It's a little bit rich. There's a touch of nuttiness coming through from the malt. But it's fantastically drinkable with a fantastic temperature to the beer. It takes the beer down to about 5 degrees, which is the perfect temperature really to, to pour a beer. If it goes any colder than that, you start to lose the flavour of the malts and you start to get a hop haze. That normally comes in at about 4 degrees. So five six degrees which this is now perfect temperature for your beer it really is a little touch of carbonation that pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth to go with that slight rich sweetness from the malts the lovely biscuity malts in there you also get this lovely kind of bitter finish. It was a really well balanced beer. Nettle hops, stinging nettle hops coming through. They're very closely connected in the in the wheel of life. The the what do they call it? The the Darwin tree of life. The the stinging nettles are, are cousins to the hops. They're very close on the wheel of life, the circle of life, whatever you want to call it. Tree of life, that was it. Mm. Look at the lacing. Fantastic, fantastic lacing. Look as I rock that beer back and forth. See the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. And I'm going to be honest here. I've never had draft or keg or cask after gem blonde. In fact, I've not had many Belgian, what I would call craft Belgian beer, artisan Belgian ale on tap. It's very rare you get it on tap. You certainly would find it. I mean, I live in a regular town, a regular town in the UK. There are craft beer bars springing up, springing up and down the country, um, quite rapidly actually. But they're generally kind of stouts and IPAs and lagers and pale ales. It's quite rare to see a craft bar serving typical, fantastic Belgian blonde ale. So, just to put that into perspective, just to have that in the home is unbelievable. Because I have seen, I do read the comments. I read the comments, I read the comments of the, the Brewdog Torp we did. Um, the other Torp was the Four Pure Hemisphere Session IPA. Um, people saying, well, I can't understand it. it, it's easier to, it's cheaper to buy it in the shop. I think in terms of variety, there is a need for this. I, I bought this for Christmas 2019 going into 2020 and I probably use it I probably used it once, twice, three times a month since I've had it. Um, if I ever fancy, if I ever see the weather's gonna be nice over the weekend, I'll order some torps, some something from Belgium or something from Germany, a German kind of Weizen beer or because that's the point. We don't really get authentic German Weizens on tap in the UK. We don't get classic Belgian blondes here on tap in the UK. So to be able to drink it in your own kitchen with it looking like this as, as you would have it from a pub is well worth the £99 for this sub machine that we have. So check out the link in the description box. It's not a sponsored video, this. I know it's, it might sound like a sponsored video. It's not sponsored at all. Beowulf were kind enough to send us a torp of this after the gem blonde. It came with the full pure hemisphere. It came with the Brewdog Punk IPA torp. Um, 
it's just the realization I suppose I'm standing here realizing never really thought about it until now that I'm standing in my kitchen drinking keg authentic Belgian blonde ale and it doesn't get much better than that it would mean it would be much nicer to be in the pub drinking it if the pubs were open they're not so maybe treat yourself order some order a torp a machine at Krebs the Subcompact at beerwolf.co.uk or beerwolf, beerwolf.com I imagine. Have a look in the description box of this video. We'll have a link linked up to the website. Yeah, great stuff. I really, really, really like that. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Fantastic balance to the beer. Lovely rich multi flavours, nicely hopped on the back end. It's a little bit grassy, um, lemon, kind of a peppery spice. Typical Belgian blonde ale, really good quality. 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!